Modern Dallas this week has a unbelievable lineup. We visit a cool, soft contemporary in the estate's development. Stop by RO2Art and see the work by Alexander Polis. And lastly, Modern Dallas Cool Spaces visits Asian Mint, one of our favorite restaurants in town. Stick around for the art scene, the calendar, and enjoy this edition of Modern Dallas TV. Where do modernistas find modern realtors in Dallas? The modern lifestyle begins in the home, and you'll find a range of unique living spaces across Dallas's most desirable neighborhoods. Start your search by meeting one of these modern realtors. Poget began his career with a degree in architecture, followed by years of interior design work including the interior design of several luxury high-rises and commissions for clients' dream homes. Poget's distinct background makes real estate a natural fit. Ed Murchison has made a name for himself by specializing in mid-century modern homes, even before that architectural style became so highly sought after. In addition to being the mid-century modern specialist, he represents some of the leading architects and builders who are designing some of the most innovative new modern homes in the Dallas area. Ed is also the exclusive listing agent for Urban Reserve, Dallas's cutting-edge modernist community which features sustainable modern homes. Noe DeLeon of Identity House Real Estate is an experienced and passionate real estate professional who is dedicated to the experience of his clients, their families, investors and business partners with a unique niche of renovating homes and turning them into wonderful modern living spaces, he brings a wealth of knowledge and expertise about buying and selling real estate. It's not the same everywhere, so you need someone you can trust. Your perfect modern home could be right around the corner. Call one of these professionals soon. Modern Dallas Real Estate is uh, here this week at a wonderful contemporary in the estates, a wonderful secluded subdivision. And I'm here with Julie Provenzano of Dave Perry Miller Real Estate. Julie, this is a fantastic property. It's pretty extraordinary. It's been a joy to absolutely be the listing agent on it and I'm excited to share it with you today. So tell us a few of the, uh, it's got a great history. This was built in 97. Correct. Which 20 years later, it feels so good. Beautiful, relevant. My clients have put a tremendous amount of time, effort, and money into renovating this property as well. And so it's it's really a timeless classic for Dallas. That's actually a great way of putting it. Who's the architect? Ken Burgess. He was a noted architect in Dallas. And he really believed in a property evolving from its site. So one of the unique things about this lot in particular is it's about two thirds of an acre. It's on a cul-de-sac in a private gated community. And the way that uh, Mr. Burgess designed this property was to follow the natural undulations of the lot. So it blends seamlessly from inside to out on account of that. It really literally fits the property itself. You, uh, you say it so beautifully, Thank but you. it really <laughs> is true because when you, when you drive up, the drive up appeal, the feel of the house, it's got just this wonderful serene feeling. I know the clients made a lot of renovations. Tell us a little bit about what's going on in the house and where it is today. Sure, absolutely. Well, when my clients purchased this property, they spent a significant amount of money renovating it inside and out. So from smaller things like complete paint inside and out uh, to sanding down the floors and staining them to adding electric shades on all of the windows for privacy and a one-touch lighting system. All of those things that make a home smart and efficient for today's luxury buyer. But in addition, they made some design changes that are just absolutely stunning. They took out a wall in the dining room and added a gorgeous onyx buffet. They converted a cedar closet into a wine storage room that's temperature controlled that has the capacity for over a thousand bottles so they were wine lovers we're hoping that a wine lover appreciates that they took the master bathroom down to the studs and put tens of thousands of dollars worth of gorgeous marble inside with a huge steam shower auto fogging glass for privacy and it's it's just a stunning space but completely 
thought out from corner to corner. The neighborhood mm -hmm. in itself has a vast allure to anybody purchasing this Absolutely. Home. Tell us a little bit about the neighborhood and where this is located. Well, it's in the heart of Preston Hollow. It's a gated community, so there's 24-hour security, uh, which is wonderful for traveling executives or people with second homes that want to have a home base here in Dallas. It is located right in the epicenter of the best private schools of, that Dallas has to offer, and within close proximity to all of the major travel arteries for an easy commute pretty much anywhere in the city. Well, it's located by Preston and Forest. Mm -hmm. It's a great neighborhood. It's a great area. There's a ton of restaurants, and this is a great home. It is. It's listed for? Uh, Two million nine twenty-five. You can see this listing on DavePerryMiller.com. Correct. Or visit Modern Dallas and see our real estate listings. Where are modern Easter's shopping in the Dallas Design District? When it comes to furnishing your modern dream home, the Dallas Design District can be your first and last stop. From the art on the walls to the statement making rugs at your feet. Talebi Rug Gallery specializes in oversized rugs featuring rare designs from Persia, Turkey, Europe and Asia. Choose from among antiques that include the finest pieces still in existence, contemporary reproductions of antique designs, a modern collection that redefines simplicity or create a custom piece. Simple details, clean lines and handmade finishes make Adriana Hoyas' creations one of a kind. For more than 25 years, she has used native and exotic materials from her homeland of Ecuador to design pieces that breathe life into their environments. Adriana demonstrates a retro modernist sensibility, blending natural materials and fine woods to enhance the ambiance of the 21st century modern home. Phil Crochet uses equipment developed by NASA to capture images that he transforms into large format luxury prints. Many of the final images are actually hundreds of combined images providing superior clarity and no distortion. The finished photographs have a three-dimensional appearance and the prints are sealed to protect them from the elements so they last indefinitely. Visit the Dallas Design District soon. The perfect pieces for your modern home are waiting. See more from these showrooms online. Modern Dallas Art this week is here at RO2 Art. I'm here with Jordan Roth. Uh, and we're here to see the show with uh, Alexander Polis, the morning after. And um, before we get into this actual show, because this is a great show, this is a little different to some of the galleries we visit. And your wheelhouse is a little different. Um, we're not seeing these clean, minimal, abstract pieces. This has a different flavor. True. Tell us a little bit about your process and how you select these artists. Well, as you've noticed, yes, th this isn't exactly what you're going to see in every gallery. Um, we have a history of showing uh, figurative artists. In fact, um, going way back to um, when my mother, Susan Roth Romans, who um, I partnered with in the gallery here, um, was operating in Fort Worth in the 70s and 80s, and I was running around the gallery as a child, um, I was uh, around these figurative paintings. And so there's something about a painting of life or a painting with a subject that um, appeals to us. And although it may not appeal to everybody, it may not um, go with every decor or, or the sense of decor that some people may have, um, the idea that there's something going on in the painting, uh, that there's a and a feeling or an action or a motivation within the painting, not just of the painter, is something that appeals to us. So when we look at an artist like Alexander Paulus, who brings us um, very, very finely crafted paintings in um, contemporary colors, but with um, subject matter that um, requires a second look, a little bit of thought, and um, full of, of portraits, people of all different um, 
uh, backgrounds and, and doing different things. Um, it's, again, something that, that we want to show. And, and that's indicative. And you can go through your past shows. I mean, obviously, there's a wide variety of artists, but this sort of tends to be where you come back to. Yes, yes. So, Jordan, tell us a little bit about the body of work, because it's, it varies. Yes. And there's a lot of stories within these. Yes, you've got a lot of stories here. And in general, when you approach the, the works in this show, um, you're approaching a colorful painting, um, very finely rendered, and something familiar, whether it's pop culture, social commentary, it's from a TV show, um, it could be, you know, it's got a cell phone in it, it's an orca whale, it could be anything, but you're, you're gonna approach that painting with an initial understanding of, of what's there, and then there's gonna be something maybe off to the side that's just not right, could be a dead body um, it, in, in some cases, and you're gonna wonder, well, why is that there? So really, the show is about viewing art or approaching life and, and, and in any situation and having an initial you know, expectation and then having that expectation kind of twisted a little bit. And how do you react to that? So it's, it's really, you know, it's, it's a show where each piece kind of stands on its own. Yeah, you've got some, some themes like pop culture, et cetera, but each piece is going to stand on its own and tell a story. And the titles are relevant too. You've got um, essentially a long title for most of these, these paintings that is going to give you an initial thought that you're supposed to approach this painting with. And you're going to generally laugh. They're kind of one-liners. And then you look at it and, and, and contemplate, you know, why do I feel this way? Have I felt this way before? And, and it's more about your reaction to the painting than any statement the artist is trying to make about life or culture or anything like that. Well, it's a great show. Thank you. You can definitely see it here where you're located. We're located at 1501 South Hervey Street in the Cedars. Very easy to find, lots of parking. And uh, if you want to see online, go to ro2art.com yes. or visit our website, moderndallas.net. See our arts page for all the details. For over 15 years, Stella has been providing award-winning home cinema and automation solutions to the DFW market. Stella offers ultra-modern black diamond screens with LED effects for your ultra-modern home cinema, as well as high-performance products ranging from invisible speakers to art screens that transform your flat panel display into a work of art. Call us at 214-227-1088 or visit livestellanow.com. Modern Dallas Cool Spaces is here at one of our favorite restaurants, Asian Mint. I'm here with the owner, Nikki. And Nikki and I go back many years. You've been part of some of our events and uh, providing great food. But Asian Mint's just gone through a whole metamorphosis. Sounds good to me. <laughs> Hopefully out to a butterfly at this point, soon uh, enough. <laughs> this is true. So tell us about the changes and this cool modern aesthetic that you have running through this restaurant as well as the Mint. Yes, so um, funny enough, when we decided to do Asian Mint, we were always wanting a restaurant that's nice and clean. And I guess white very much lends to modern. And like clean lines, everything clean, it's transparent, you can see what's going on, you can see the food, vibrant colors. Um, so how we implement all that modern ideas and uh, designs is just whenever we pick things it's always turns out to be the contemporary modern items so it lends itself very well it's a part of our brand it's a part of our culture it's just who we are and that's why we love it and we're so excited to be a part of your program thank you so much well it's it's great and tell us a little bit about what you've created here i mean you've got a great you know, obviously additional space and this little private room is fantastic. Thank you, thank you. So we've been around for 11 years. It's uh, just this past year we had the opportunity to expand. Um, it doubled our space. We're over 4,500 square feet at this point. Doubled our seatings and we had an area that we wanted to really give the customers what they've always been asking for. They've always asked us, hey, we want to shut your restaurant down to do a party. We want to do this, do that. And we were never able to say yes. And now we can, we're so excited. Um, it's a private party room. 
we have it equipped with a 100 inch screen projector, full on computer setup, microphones, karaoke if you want to set that up, um, everything and anything you can think of. The surround sound system in here is amazing. You can have watch parties, product launches, conferences, anything, anything you can dream of. I pretty much white box it so that you can come in and put the final touches in it and make it your space. The lightings that I put in here are changing LED lights. So amazing. Love, 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 love. Um, ghost chairs changes with anything and very, very uh, monochromatic, but will go with anything you can think of. So we'll seat about 36 people, 50 standing cocktail, um, family style dinner, we have sample menus online, just whatever you can think of, contact us, we will make it happen. What's your favorite dish? <laughs> right now, I created a few new dishes because we also relaunched our menu. Right now, my favorite favorite thing is the Asian noodle salad. I've been eating it all my life. If you had asked me what the last dish I would ever have in my life, it would be this. It's a great rainbow salad mix, uh, clear rice noodles, low carb, very, very fresh flavor, fresh lime juice, fish sauce that has minced chicken, shrimp, peanuts, uh, Thai chili peppers, so, so flavorful, so filling, so yummy for the summer, and I would just eat it all day long. And it's vegetarian? It can be vegetarian, it can be pescatarian, it can be chickenless, um, however it no, I have to take that back. It cannot be vegetarian because it has fish sauce in it. Okay. We don't have a <laughs> modification on the sauce. That's a true traditional thing that we really don't want to change at this point. Um, but we can take out the chicken and make it pescatarian. <laughs> well, I, I know for sure that there are plenty of vegetarian options. Oh, yes. Because I eat here regularly and it's a wonderful space. Definitely stop by. It's here located on? We are at the southwest corner of Central and Forest Lane. Um, our second location is on Oaklawn and Wycliffe. We've been around for a while and we love our community. Love, love. Well, it's great. You can go to AsianMint.com. Yes. If you'd like to come by, this is a great space. Some significant pieces with the ghost chair and the lighting. It really is a, it's really a cool space. Great food, great times. Come by and say hi to Nikki. To wrap up this edition of Modern Dallas TV, on the art scene, Illum Gallery opens The Photographers on June the 17th from 6 to 9 p.m. On the calendar of events, check out the website, Modern Dallas Calendar, to get the details for Preservation Dallas's Summer Sizzlers. The Dallas Architecture Forum 365 Modern Series continues with uh, homes open on June the 17th as well as on the 30th. You can get all the details on our website and purchase tickets through the forum website. Lastly, The Modernist comes back in June on the 22nd from 6 to 8 p.m. This month will be at Bow Concept on McKinney Avenue. If you'd like a little more modern, check out our website for art reviews by Todd Camplin. If you'd like to listen to The Modernist podcast, come to our website, check out The Modernist, or go to iTunes and SoundCloud and type in The Modernist, you'll see two bald guys, that's us on that show. And if you're in the market for a modern, mid-century modern, contemporary home, high-rise or loft, we simply have the finest moderns in town. And if you're in the market for a modern, mid-century modern, contemporary home, high-rise or loft, we simply have the finest moderns in Dallas. For this week, like every week, thanks for being part of our show. We'll see you later. <laughs>